So it came in. My film came in. Not a film that I own. A film that I own and that I made myself. Oh my god. There I am. The first scene I ever shot. You guys ready? Oh my god. <laughs> That's so cool. So with this part, whoops. Yep, that's the intro. It's very green. Nice. This is so fucking cool. I didn't know what to do for the intro, so I just sat down in the woods. very green. Oh, that shot is beautiful. I love it. Yeah, we got this scene. Nice. so it didn't go as far as I thought it would. Well, that's a shame. Okay, it's time for real two. Mm. Yes. Now there's Hillsboro. There's the Orpheum Theater. Here's my e-bike. Oh, there's a train going by. I forgot to get the audio for that one. I'll have to go out and get a, the audio of the train going by. That was me messing around with fades. It worked! Oh my god, the fades worked! There's my e-bike project. Oh, this was... this is the, the 48 FPS... Yeah, this is the 48 FPS test.
And this is where I think the film gets messed up because it should start getting brighter because the oils in the, in the camera started freezing, causing the camera to slow down. So I think it might have overexposed some of the footage. No, it didn't. Oh my god, it didn't, it didn't overexpose it. Wow. Here's the Christmas tree in town. And that's it. There is $160 of film. You know, I'm actually surprised by how forgiving the exposure of the film was. Because there were several parts where I thought I totally fucked up like half the real film. But I guess not. Wow. Well, the person that sent me this, I thank you very much. Because I'm going to now use one of these blue reels for my film. Because it's these brews are so nice. I'll just put this Ripley, Ripley's Believe It or Not film onto here and boom, done. I think it's up at a yard sale for, for like $4 and it's just a bunch of film leader. So this will help me load it into the projector. Oh no, it was November 2008 for $2. Even better deal. Let's see if we can go ahead and add the film leader to it. Here's a little press tape kit that I got at a yard sale. <gasps> it did it. Oh my god. Okay, I'm actually kind of liking this. This is pretty cool. Kodak press tape, 8 millimeter. I've never been able to see any 16 millimeter. It comes with two. That's not working. I think this is old stuff that's... Well, I mean, of course it's old stuff. It's from like the 1970s, but... It's just not working right. You know, that actually feels pretty strong. And this tape is already like three decades old, so it'll most likely not deteriorate anymore in the foreseeable future. So I rolled it forward and now I can get this. You know, I think I'm going to use tape. We'll see how that goes. I've actually used regular scotch tape on films quite a bit, and honestly, they've lasted at least a decade, so that's all good. Well guys, that's pretty much it. I'm going to work on a digitizer, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you very much for watching. See ya!